Hello, my lovelies. I hope you are well. I hope you're having a great day. This is the Thanksgiving of 2015 incident. So this is the first um, statement that Amber wrote before her statement for the UK trial. So this is what she had to say. So apparently this happened November 26, 2015. And she said on November 26, 2015, which was Thanksgiving, Johnny and I were in LA and got into another physical fight. Johnny ripped my shirt and threw me around the room. He threw a wine glass and a heavy decanter at me, which luckily missed. At one point, Johnny pushed me and I fell over the back of a lounge chair and I hit my head against the brick wall. I later learned I had gotten a sizable lump on the back of my head and that my lip had been busted open. I actually think I need to do a count of how many times her lip was busted open. I think I really do because this is just a constant uh, injury for her. So we'll have to go back for that. But that's what she had to say. It's very short and sweet, not a lot to deduce and not a lot to go by. So let's see what she had to say in her first witness statement for the UK trial. We were in our place in LA. Johnny was using a lot of drugs at the time, especially Whitey stuff and Mary Jane, which he was pretty much constantly smoking. We got into a fight on Thanksgiving where Johnny ripped my shirt and threw me across the room. He threw a wine glass and a heavy decanter at me, which thankfully both missed me. Once he pushed me, I fell over back of the lounge chair and hit my head against the apartment exposed brick wall. I noticed later I had a huge lump on the back of my head and a busted lip from this. No deviation, like absolutely not, almost word for word. So this is new for Amber right? This is new that there was no veering from statement to statement. All right, let's see what else other people had to say about this because Rocky once again was also at Thanksgiving. Of course she was, right? Let's see what Rocky has to say. I attended Thanksgiving dinner with Johnny and Amber and a number of others at the apartment of Penthouse 5 in November of 2015. At one point late in the meal, Amber went upstairs to look for Johnny and stayed up there for a long time. After a long time, they both came back downstairs. When I asked Amber what had happened, she told me that Johnny had thrown a bottle of wine at her in the bedroom. I went to look and found that a full bottle of wine had hit and broken a piece of art that Amber really loves above the bed and that broken glass was scattered all over the bed. I went back downstairs and spoke to Amber. She was upset but wanted to get through dinner without further problems. So in Amber's version, there was a glass and a wine decanter, not a bottle, but in Rock's version, it was just a bottle of wine. So what was the glass that she saw on this bed when she went to go look? I would love to know what kind of glass it was, what color was it? Was it a wine bottle? Was it a wine glass? There's a lot of questions in there between the two stories. So this is what Depp had to say about this whole situation. On November 26, 2015, Miss Heard and I were indeed in LA together celebrating Thanksgiving. However, I never abused Miss Heard in the way she alleged or at all. That's it. That's all he had to say. So when everyone got on the stand, this is what Miss Laws came to Amber with. And let's see how this shifts, moves, shakes, and shimmies to make it work. Let's take a look at that. The first thing they did, they read out the statement, they read out Amber's statement, the one that we just read out, and then they played this video because the videos were the main focus of the Thanksgiving Day event. So here is the first video that they played. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh no, he's a monster. No, he's a monster. No, he's a monster. Turn around! He's a monster. He's a monster. Scaring me. Turn around! Turn around! Check your savage. Check your savage. So after Miss Laws played that, she wanted to know if it was Penthouse 3 or Penthouse 5. Amber couldn't tell because it's a very dark video. 
I'll give her that. But what I won't give her is that she would know the configuration of the furniture. She would know the color of the walls. She would know the fixtures from the ceiling because we do get a very good view of the fixtures on like the, the pendulums that, that hang down. She would know all that. She had that place scoured because she wanted it for herself. She knew exactly what penthouse that was. So I don't know why she decided to play this little game of, I don't know, but it's just silly. But then Miss Law said, I'm going to play this again. Like we need to, we need to figure out if it was Penthouse 3 or Penthouse 5 and she's getting to a point. So they played it again. And Miss Law said, do you recognize that as Penthouse 5 now? And Amber said, it looks like one of the penthouses. I can't tell which one, but if you're going to suggest it was 5, I have no problem. And Miss Law said that was Thanksgiving. Sorry. Like just, she's, she's just trying to move on. She's like, that's Thanksgiving. Amber said, I can't tell which penthouse it is. So Ms. Laws just soldiered on and she said, that is Thanksgiving of 2015. Is it not? Amber, we would have eaten dinner at about four or five. I don't know why Amber gave that information because it was a yes or no. Was it Thanksgiving? Yes or no. Not was it Thanksgiving? Oh yeah, we ate it this time. Chick is all over the map. I don't know what's going on. But but Miss Law said, you recognize that as Thanksgiving of 2015. Amber said, yes. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Miss Laws, I'm going to suggest that you would know by looking at it, it was Penthouse 5 straight away. I think she would too. Amber, I'm sorry. It was difficult for me to tell. Miss Laws asked, and the person flicking the scarf, was that your father? And she said, yes, that was my father. And then she wanted to know who else she recognized. And she said, well, I see Jack, who is Johnny's son. And then she thought she saw Marilyn Manson, but obviously he was very much there. And then she said that she couldn't tell if it was herself, Rock, or Whitney, but she also did admit that Johnny was also within that. So they played it again. Play it again, Sam, because there was some wording in there that caught the attention of everybody. And that was the words of Monster and Savage, something that Amber has always, always said that was referred to as Johnny's alter ego. So why are these people joking about a savage and a monster at a Thanksgiving dinner if that is what Johnny refers to as his alter ego, which, and this alter ego is not a very good person in Amber's version of events. So they just wanted to know why would they be joking about this? Like, why are they calling Jack a savage? Why are they calling everyone a monster? Like what is going on? And they're joking about it. Like if that was honestly Depp's alter ego, they wouldn't be joking about it at all. So then they brought out a picture and this picture had everyone in it and I don't have a copy of it. So if you do have a copy of it, please send it along to me. You can send it uh, just tag me in a tweet. That is probably the best way at this point. And they wanted to know, like, this assault that happened, was it before or after? Because your face looks perfectly fine in this picture. And she said it was after. Now, don't forget, Rocky said that in the middle of dinner, that's when they both went upstairs for a very long time. And that's when Amber came back down and said all this ruckus had gone on. And Amber said, no, like the ruckus happened afterwards. So now, so now we're saying, well, that doesn't make sense because everyone, like everyone, Amber and Rocky both said that within that, the thing happened. They both, everyone came downstairs and they just wanted to get through the evening. Now that picture was apparently taken around midnight. So if you're starting dinner at four or five, which Amber so lovingly handed over that information, I understand dinners do go long. I understand that, especially Thanksgiving and Christmas and Easter, they can go on all night. But at what point during the night this did this happen, Amber? This is the question we need to know. So Ms. Laws read out Rocky's statement, the same one that we heard earlier. And Ms. Laws said, now she is saying that the assault took place while everyone was there and you had to go back downstairs. And that's exactly how I read it. In the middle of dinner, they both went away for a little bit and then came back down. And apparently that's when everything, like that's when Amber told Rocky that everything had gone down. And Amber said, no. And Miss Laws is like, what? She's wrong? She's wrong in all this? Amber said, no. She is saying that part of it took place while she was there and the others 
were downstairs. She was just describing the first part of the fight. The first part? I didn't think there were two parts and neither did Miss Laws because she said, so this incident has two parts now, does it? Amber said her fights typically involved many parts. Miss Laws, you are just making this all up as you go along to try and fit with the evidence that comes out later, are you not? Amber said, no, I've always had this information. Well, if you've always had that information, you need to write it down because I'm reading it the way everyone else is reading it, that in the middle of dinner, this happened and you came back downstairs and had to continue dinner and that was it. So you need to be very specific when you say, okay, we came back downstairs and then this other thing happened that I previously told you happened. She's, she's messed it all up, but does it matter? No, it doesn't. So then Ms. Laws went on this whole thing of how in Rocky's statement, she said they were in Penthouse 5 because Rock did say that she was in Penthouse 5 in her statement and she went upstairs. But Ms. Laws is like, there are no beds in Penthouse 5, which there are not, but there are connecting doors from Penthouse 5 into the bedroom of Penthouse 3. Now, I would side with Rock on that one because there was this huge thing that there was a huge error in Rocky's statement that she went upstairs and checked the bedroom in Penthouse 5 and they're like, well, there is no Penthouse 5 bedroom, so how is that even possible? But at the same time, if that was your reality and that was the space you lived in, you're not thinking I'm going to go from one penthouse to another if they're connected because you you forget that they're connected. You forget that they're two separate entities when it comes to addresses. So I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt to Rocky. Don't come for me. I'm just thinking like in my in my own thought process. I don't think that they really thought in that that logical way of penthouse three and five. But uh, I don't know. I don't know. Just the fact that I feel that none of this ever happened at all makes me think that Rock just said, yeah, 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 I went upstairs and I saw the wine bottle. But here's the thing. Amber said it was a wine glass and a wine decanter, not a wine bottle. A wine decanter and a wine bottle are very two very different things and they would have very different glass. So I think the question at hand is, Rock, what kind of glass did you see on that bed? Because a wine bottle would have a, a different coloring, I'm assuming, and there would be labels what was the label on the wine? A lot of questions involved. So then Miss Laws said, well, Nurse Erin was there as well, right? Like Nurse Erin would have been around when all this happened because Nurse Erin also took notes. Nurse Erin took notes about everything apparently and rightfully so because this is what Erin's notes said. Aaron visited client and husband, client's JD's home in downtown LA. Client AH notified RN that she will need refills on her routine. And then goes it goes into about your medication. So she was there on the day, was she not? Amber said, yes, this reminds me. Miss Law said she was there, was she? At the time before or after you had been hit. Amber, the first interaction I had with Johnny, he just threw a bottle at me and... Miss Laws cut her off. Sorry, I was asking about whether she was there or not. She was downstairs. Mr. Justice Nickel put his two cents in and said, I think you have established that Miss Hurd agreed she was there, but then you asked whether she was there before or after the altercation. Miss Hurd is giving her answer. Here's Mr. Justice Nickel kind of sticking up for Amber. We need to really take a look at his wording. Amber, so the violence, what I would call violence at the time, no, she was there downstairs in penthouse five for the bottle throwing, the decanter breaking, the painting breaking. I remember there was a slight altercation at the top of the stairs involving wine and Johnny grabbed me by the short collar. Miss Laws, can I ask you, was she there? Amber, that was that is an altercation. So I was trying to answer your question in full so you had the most information and I can answer you the best way possible. There was a slight altercation, but it was not what later became after everyone left, which she was not there for. Miss Law is right. I was not asking for another description. And here she is again. Now she's saying at the top of the stairs, he had the wine and had her by the short collar. Why isn't all this in your statement? Why doesn't it say that it was two incidences in your one statement? But Mr. Justice Nickel once again interjects and said, Ms. Laws, you asked the question. Ms. Hurd has given her answer. As I have understood the answer is that she was there for the interaction that you have described involving the painting. But when you were asked whether Ms. Baroon was there for the 
the other assault, I think she said she was not. Amber, correct. And here's the judge just putting in his two cents and like having Amber agree so he could write it down. He's like, yeah, I interjected. I put this in and Amber agrees. Miss Laws. So she was downstairs during part of the assault on you. Amber, part. Yes. So was Rocky Pennington and then Rocky Pennington comes down and you say the second part happened after they had all gone. It got much worse later. And after the video, after the photograph, yes, it got much worse. It's just a lie, is it not? No, ma'am. So they played the other video. There's just another video of everyone around. This is it here. questions they had for Amber and Thanksgiving. That was it. They didn't ask her why Am why Rock said a wine glass, like a wine bottle, and she said wine decanter. There was no more questions about the stairs at the altercation. And at the end of the day, Johnny was never asked about this. So I think they were really a uh, time constraint and they figured, well, if Johnny was never asked, like we'll still bring it up because we need to address all of them. But seeing that Johnny wasn't asked, there's really nothing to go on here. So that was all that they talked about with her. But let's see what Rocky had to say when she was on the stand. And then we'll wrap it up. All right. So Miss Laws gets hold of Rock on the stand. And she said, I'm going to read your statement, the one we heard earlier. She said, but I'm going to suggest to you that you have completely fabricated this episode in your account. Have you not? Complete fabrication. Rock said, no, I have not. So then she reads out the whole statement. And at the end, she said, do we take it then on your account? The dinner had not ended. This was during the evening. Rock said, it was during the evening at some point. I just don't remember at which point dinner it was. 
Miss Laws. But we have some help in relation to that from paragraph 18 because you say, I went back downstairs and spoke to Amber. She was upset, but she wanted to get through dinner. So we do, do we take it that dinner had not been finished? Rock said, well, during Thanksgiving here, the meals tend to go on for many hours. There are desserts and people could have been continuing eating at any point and mingling. It appears to be that you were suggesting that this happened when other people were around because Amber then feels she had to carry on with the evening. Is that correct? Rock said, yes, this happened when other people were still around. Interesting. We were going to watch a clip of the video. So then they play the video, the first one that we saw. Miss Laws want a confirmation who was all there. So then she said, I see David Hurd, Jack, uh, Jack Depp. And she said she didn't see Marilyn Manson, but you could hear his voice. So my question is, where was Amber's mom? That actually just popped in my head. Where was her mom in all this? Was she not invited to Thanksgiving? Because if Whitney was there and Amber was there and David Hurd was there, there's a question. So then Ms. Laws wanted to know when the incident happened in comparison to when the videos were taken. And Rock said she didn't know. So then Ms. Law said, you've been given some unpleasant news that night, had you not, about what had happened to your friend? Rock said, she had shared with me what had happened upstairs after she came back downstairs. And that was unpleasant, what she told you, was it not? Rock said, that's fair to say. Miss Law said, I'm going to suggest that if it happened at all, you would remember whether during those videos you were faking the laughter or what, whether it was real. Rock said, I'm sorry, what is the question? Miss Law said it again. She said, the question is, if before those videos were shot, you have been told a really unpleasant, violent incident involving your friend and Mr. Depp, you would remember looking at those videos, would you not, whether you were actually genuinely having fun or whether you were worried about her? Do you understand? Rock, I still do not understand what the question is. Essentially, were you faking the, the happy-go-lucky happy family or were you not? That's the question. So to simplify, she said, you're enjoying yourself in those videos, are you not? Rock said, yes. So Ms. Law said, and it would be hard to imagine how you could enjoy yourself if you'd just been told of an extremely unpleasant incident by Ms. Hurt. Rock said, I cannot speculate on what it would be hard to imagine to do. So Miss Laws went on. She said, well, it's only speculation if it never happened. So let us go back to what you say happened. You say you were told something really unpleasant that had happened between Mr. Depp and Miss Hurd. So you would be able to remember if you were telling the truth of how you felt when you were back downstairs back at the dinner. Rock said, I do not know if that video happened before or after. Well, that video was taken around midnight. So it's very late, is it not? And Miss Laws said, I see you nodding. But are you saying this happened with Miss Hurd and Mr. Depp upstairs after midnight or earlier? Or are you just not able to say? Rock said, I just do not recall when it happened. So when you went upstairs, it was to Penthouse 5, yes? And the bedroom there? Rock said, there is no bedroom in Penthouse 5. Miss Law said, can I ask you to look at your statement again? So to go back to the paragraph 17, where we were looking at a moment ago, she said, what you say there is I attended Thanksgiving dinner with Johnny and Amber and a number of other apart and a number of others in their apartment in Penthouse 5. And then you were describing what happened later. They both came downstairs. When I asked Amber what had happened, she told me Johnny had thrown a bottle of wine at her in the bedroom. I went to look and found out a full bottle of wine had hit and broken a piece of art above the bed. So she said, uh, what you were saying in that is that you went upstairs and had a look at Penthouse 5, the bedroom, and found that there was, saw some damage. Is that right? Rock said, there is no bedroom in Penthouse 5. What I did is I cut across the apartments where they're all connected upstairs to their bedroom in Penthouse 3. Miss Laws asked, have you been in communication with anyone from Miss Hurd's team about whether you got Penthouse wrong in your statement? And I highlighted that because... Now it's ex it's in, it's an extra important question because now we know that Amber had her phone in the courthouse and we know that they were trying to get their story straight. So what are the chances that someone texted Rock to say, there is a mistake, you have to make sure that you say that there is no bed in Penthouse 5. I don't know if she would have divulged that so quickly. She came with that very, very quickly. So the fact, I think that was a fair question for Miss Laws to ask. Like, have you been in contact with people? Who, who's been in contact with you? And the, the bitch of it is, is that we will, we can't know 
we can't do a data dump because if it was a lawyer, it's privileged information. So it's hard to say. Rock said no. Miss Law said, because Penthouse 5, we are in agreement about this. There are no bedrooms. In fact, you have in Penthouse 5 upstairs our Miss Hurd's closet wardrobe. Is that right? And Rock said, correct. And then she agreed. She said, I did not say I went to a bedroom in a different penthouse. And then Miss Laws just said, you're making this up as you go along. And Rock said, no. So Miss Law said, just looking at your account, if what you're saying is now that your statement is correct, but in, in it, you simply have not put that you have moved from one penthouse to the next. Why did you bother on that evening that we have seen videoed? Why did you bother to go upstairs and cross over into a completely different penthouse to check on Miss Hurd's bedroom? What was in it for you? Ms. So Rock said, are you asking me what was in it for me or are you asking me why I went upstairs? Miss Law's like, why'd you do it? Rock said, because there was a bedroom in penthouse three. But why did you go there, asked Miss Laws, to look at what happened from what she had just told me. So Miss Law said, there was no reason for you to have gone up there and checked on her bedroom in a completely different penthouse that night, was there? For no, there was no reason for you to do that. Rock said, the reason was to go see what she had told me had happened. So Miss Law said, you had no reason to go up and check on what she said, did you? Rock said, I did have a reason. Miss Law said, she was downstairs when she told you about it because you have said she was upstairs for a long time with Mr. Depp, came downstairs, told you something had happened, and you went to look for it. So you went to go look at it yourself. So you were not going up to help her, were you? Rock said, no. So you had just no reason, no need to go check on what she was saying. And so Mr. Justice Nickel kicked in and he said, you have asked that question now more than once. And Miss Law said, my Lord, I will move on. I'm just focusing on that incident because I'm going to suggest to you that incident is a total fabrication. Do you agree or disagree? And Rock said, I disagree. So Miss Law said, you came to the assistance of Miss Hurd on a number of occasions with taking photographs of things in the flat, the apartment, rather, did you not? Rock said, I came to her assistance on many occasions. During those occasions, I helped to take photographs. Miss Law said, and in this incident, you did not get your camera out, even though you went up to inspect the damage. Is that right? Rock said, I do not believe I took my, or I do not believe I had my phone with me. No. And then they moved on to December 15th. So that was it. That was all she wrote. And because Depp was never asked about it, this was one of the incidences that were off the table. But at the same time, he said it never happened. So I'm taking his word for it that it never happened. But how did we get from a little incident this big that turned into two incidences? We have two videos that show happy families. And granted, sometimes videos don't tell the story. But at midnight, and they started to eat at four or five. So at midnight, her face is still clear. And she said it happened afterwards. So when did all of this happen, Amber? And where's the picture of your split lip? Did you see a doctor about this huge welt on the back of your head? I'd be worried about a concussion if you hit your head on the back of a, of a brick wall. I'd be asking a lot of questions, but no, we don't have any of that. We don't have any pictures. We just have your word for it. And I'm sorry, we're not taking your word for anything at this point. But at the end of the day, this was Thanksgiving. Don't forget, we now have to, she has to stick to this now. She has to stick to her story that it was two separate incidences. I'm sure she's studying this like nobody's business because uh, things are going to change when it comes to the VA trial. She's locked this in. It's loaded. She got to stick with it. So now that she's even said there's an incident at the top of the stairs, she actually has to stick with that. So we'll see if anything gets added in that as well. Who knows? But that was Thanksgiving. What do you guys think? And until next time, be lovely to yourselves and I will see you guys next time.